Revolutionary greetings, fellow Amazonians. This is a very difficult time for all of us. Vice President Daphne Yerima addressed the nation last night, and I think his message was abundantly clear that the coronavirus is real. Major sophisticated economies are shutting down. We are losing lives across the globe. The number one responsibility for each of us as Amazonians is to be each other's keeper. We need to share relevant information, not fake, but relevant information that can save lives. We need to serve quarantine. We need to stay at home. I decided to address you with my mask, mask and gloves to say, if you have to go out because you must go out, we encourage you to stay safe so that when you are in public, in very limited locations, and people talk, their saliva doesn't come close to you. Remember that touching almost anything now is a danger. What is most important again is to stay at home with your family. And at any moment you feel that you might be having symptoms, immediately see a doctor. This is the instruction you have from the Secretary College of HSS. The second reason why the interim government thought it wise to talk to our people today is as a result of the calamity that is befalling Boya, precisely what happened yesterday. The last float from the mountain traditionally occur once every five years. And when that happens, there's a particular path it takes. We are thankful to God that lives were saved. Nobody died. But we encourage and advise our people in Fako, precisely Boya, to respect zonal principles. Do not construct along those routes because you remain a liability at any time this happens. Like I said, once every five or so years. Our people believe in the notion of if one suffers, we all suffer. All for one, one for all. We encourage Amazonians in Boya and the Hindi lands to identify fellow countrymen that were affected as a result of the deadly flood in Boya and give them all the humanitarian support you can. But most importantly, let us be wise, let us be vigilant, and let us stay safe. The interim government will continuously come to you at this very difficult time that the world is going through. God bless you and protect you.